Hello, ladies, and welcome to Infant Women's Empowerment. I am MJ. Hi, and welcome to day three of the social glow up phase. Yes, it's all about glowing up, leveling up socially. I just wanted to tell you first about this social glow up that you may encounter some haters, ladies. I'm sorry to tell you, it probably is already happening to you. And you can definitely tell me a story or two. I know I can tell you a story or two during my glow up phase. Um, I experienced a lot of jealousy and envy, um, but you know what you're going to do. You just have to keep pushing. Sometimes you can be a reflection, a reflector <laughs> to a lady when you are leveling up, especially if when you're starting to glow, go out and you want to dress up nice, you want to wear nice colors, you want to fix your face, your hair, and they might be like, where are you going? Or dressed up, where are you going? <laughs> What's happening? And um, so I just want to encourage you that um, this may be a different time of your life where you might have to do some evaluations, see who and what is serving you at this time. And there may people, maybe people in your life that are not serving you. They may, maybe time to go. It's I know it's painful because it was really painful for me too because sometimes you really love that person or you really like that person and you thought that things was going to go well but it just didn't work out that way. And it's okay, because some people come into your life, as my best friend would say, to teach you something that you don't even know unaware. But after the person is gone, then you realize, oh, that person was here to teach me about so-and-so. And but because of that, I'm a better person. And so I just want to encourage you that during the social phase, you may have to socially begin to remove certain people in your life. Not that you think you're better than them, but for your emotional benefit. Because some people are still going through an emotional glow up phase where it's going to take them time to become emotionally stable. Because some people could really come into your life and take you there and trigger you and make you go back 10 spaces to where you don't want to be or make you forget where you came from. If you know what I mean. And so until you learn how to become uh, proactive and not reactive during this glow up phase, if I talked about the, emo the emotional glow up phase and the mental, knowing the difference, uh, I think it's very important that you kind of stay away from certain people, at least for now. You can choose to go back, but just kind of pull away, distance yourself, especially if you're around people who are not going to encourage you, who are not going to empower you, who are not happy for you. This is the best time to kind of like keep your mouth quiet and just do what you need to do and probably quietly remove yourself from them, especially if they've been uh, experiencing some forms of jealousy uh, towards you and envy and throwing shades and saying bad words to you, negative words, and it's causing you to have emotional uh, relapse where today you feel happy, but as soon as you get into their presence, you're sad, you, 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 you can't function, you're thinking about what they said to you the whole week, into the following week, and it's disturbing your peace. They're triggers. So during this social empowerment glow phase, you want to remove those triggers from you and ask God to help you, show you how. Because some people die, don't want to leave you. They don't understand. Some people, some people have developed some codependencies on you, especially if you are there for them to be your punching bag. They're a toxic release loader. They're um, I got problems every day dumper. You don't have time for that phase. This is social glow up phase. It's time for you to glow up, grow up, and be emotionally stable. And those people who are causing you to become emotionally unstable during your social glow up phase, there's no time for that. No time until you become uh, emotionally stable. So you want to go ahead on my YouTube channel, click on emotional glow up phase, and uh, kind of listen to that if you didn't get to hear that. Now, I just want to go further. You may be in a relationship and if that guy is not going to encourage you, push you, and and ladies, you know what you need to do. You know as you begin to glow up, you may find yourself not too compatible with that person. And I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm just telling you to start to reevaluate. Because you can't change a man. You just can't. You can't. You can encourage him. You can motivate him, but you can't change him. So you want to do in your social phase of glow up to really reevaluate that person. Make sure the person is there 
he's going to meet your needs and you're going to do vice versa. You guys are compatible. He understands your growth phase. He's not feeling jealous. He's not feeling insecure and worried because some men can, especially if they met you a certain way and now you're doing a 360 on them. It's, it's going to be normal for him, especially if he is not glowing up. He's not trying to develop and he's not growing as a person. And here you are. Shabang, you're getting snatched, you're doing your hair, you're doing your makeup. It can cause conflict. So communication is key. And letting that person know, especially if you're married, communicating in the marriage, letting the person know that you're going through this glow phase and you're changing and you want to empower yourself and you're going to be doing a new revamp. You got to let the person know so that they can know what's happening. Because some people may feel like, are you dating someone? Are you, is there someone on the job? Is there someone, what's going on? I see you smelling good. You're, you're doing some new things. What's going on? So communicating, if you're in a relationship, is key. And doing a, a evaluation of the person who you are not committed to, but are dating and seeing if that's a perfect fit for you. Okay, but I'm not telling you what to do, ladies. Now, you also want to encourage the inner art in you as a part of your social glow up ladies everyone has a gift I, I encourage you to do something artistically just do something new you know voice i do voice i like voice i like to sing piano or art or draw i don't care a violin or something artistic as part of your social glow up so that it will begin to release that feel-good chemical in the brain that's going to help push you. Because remember, your whole body is a holistic. You're not just the physical. There are so many things in your body, especially as a woman, that we need to embody so that we can feel balanced. Our hormones can feel balanced. We can feel strong. We can feel happy and bubbly and, and feeling good. So... Try to come up with something that you love to do. Some people like to sew. People like to crochet. Some people like to cook and bake and get their fingers in it. In, in it. Some, you know, some people love the arts of drama. You know, those things that make you feel good and that you love socially. And even if you can take a class that is outside of your realm, not in your home, so that you could socially meet new people, meet new people who are into the arts can be a great way to develop your glow up during the social phase. So let me know what you love to do. What instrument do you love to play? Are you like to play guitars? Are you a solo guitarist? Or are you play the piano? Are you a soloist? Are you a vocalist? Do you like to dance? Do you like drama? You like to sew? You are into the arts? Uh, you know, get into something like that. Everybody has some type of form of talent that they love, that it can help enhance your social lifestyle and get out if you are been a hermit you've been in a hermit phase you've been indoors and you haven't been going out you want to empower yourself and glow up socially go to different restaurants taste different foods this is a great way to enhance your social skills ladies don't just go to the same mcdonald's or wendy's i'm gonna pause do something nice. Go to some nice restaurants. You know, just enhance your social skills as far as you going out. So that you can meet new people, have fun, and um, taste different cuisines. Do something socially, right? Visit different places. Go, you know, you know what I mean, ladies, as far as social glow up. Something that's not what you're used to doing. Something that's glowed up. I don't know where you live. So... You see the famous restaurant, you see a famous place where people are going that's safe for you and it's going to help your environment glow. I, I, I'm encouraging you to try it. And now I also want to talk about finally our uh, etiquette, ladies. That's so important. You know, when we don't have the correct etiquette skills, a lot of us want to go into a different socioeconomic status class uh, especially using not using but we want to try different we want a man that's going to take us somewhere and if that's you i'm not knocking it but you want to try to enhance yourself do it etiquette classes okay i for one i'm into etiquette class when i first came out of college 
that's the first thing I, I took was some etiquette classes because I wanted to know how to eat in fine dining. I wanted to know how to conduct myself in certain places. I wanted to be able to stand out. So I knew that in order for me to stand out, I needed to know how to conduct myself as far as my parents did the job, but I wanted to fine tune it. And so going to etiquette class is another way to fine tune yourself, right? And especially if you're one of those ladies who would have on your vision board or writing that you want to be in a certain economics class or meet a man in that type of status, or you're in a job setting and you know you want to go up with, I mean, maybe in corporate where you want to be, they go on a lot of luncheons, they're in different environments. So learning how to carry yourself is very important. There's so many uh, classes online that you can take. YouTube has classes that you can see that's free. If you don't have the coins for it at this time, but that is something that I am encouraging you to look into so that if you do go on a date with this high class man that you're probably wanting to be with, and even some guys that are what I would say is not into making six figures, but most men do want a woman who's soft and feminine and they do take you out because maybe they want to take you on their corporate job dinner, but they ain't looking for this lady who conducts herself in a nice manner. She knows how to uh, pick up where to pick up her her cup where there's a different type of a goblet. She knows which glass to pick up. She knows which uh, utensil to pick up. She knows how to conduct herself. She knows how to conduct herself in public. And so you want to be able to fine tune these things, especially if you are visioning being in a certain type of class uh, in your job or with a man or just for yourself. Do it for, for me. I did it for me. Do it for yourself so that you can know how to carry yourself in public and be able to feel good about yourself because it's coming from the inside, coming out from the outside. You're not talking vulgar, acting vulgar, but you are just feminine and soft and classy. And um, I want to leave you with that socially, the social glow up phase, ladies. Glow up socially, have fun, have fun with the etiquette, have fun with the arts, have fun with uh, being me meeting. Don't be afraid to meet new people in your life. Don't be afraid to uh, say goodbye to the old people who are not serving you. And enjoy your environment. You know, meet new friends, go out to new places, travel as a part of your social glow up phase. I am MJ, ladies, and be blessed.